coating all of the wooden crates. I am going to do the inside now. I just finished up the, the outside late last night. It actually took a really long time. We also have another project going, which you guys will see later in another video. But anyway, we gotta get this project finished up. We gotta get the insides all done. And then we have to uh, make sure that we coat them. Um, so that way when Fred gets home tonight from work, he can, we can start putting the shoe rack together. So I did want to show you, cause I kind of forgot. I wanted to show you what, what color and stuff we were using. So we're using this, um, Minwax, uh, wood finish penetrating stain in the color Ebony. Ebony was actually an accident. I meant to grab espresso. Um, but it is what it is. So it's too late for that. <laughs> or we're already moving on. I probably should have bought a bigger, um, the bigger container too, because this is actually our second container that I'm using. So we have a lot of shoes though, guys. We're a family of six. Um, each of my kids have at least three pairs of shoes because we live in the Midwest. You have to have winter boots. Um, they each have a school tennis shoes possibly some some of them have play tennis shoes they have a pair of sandals and then mia even has cleats so that's like five shoes for her so we wanted to do a box per child and then um fred and i each have two boxes so we have eight boxes here so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up um getting the inside of these all coated and yeah and then we will move on to the next step We got the boxes finished up and finished stained. Um, I did spray them with a um, sealer, I guess you would call it. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll post a picture right here of what I used. Um, anyway, so we're going to try to figure out how we're going to put it up on the wall. Um, this is where they're going. So not exactly sure how we're gonna fit all eight of them there probably gonna have to stack them maybe kind of like a pyramid of some sort and go from there so let's get to it
Okay, so this is kind of the setup that we have decided here. Um, we actually, we were going to attach it to the wall, but now we're kind of second guessing that. Um, just in case we want to add more later or we want to move them around or resituate them. We do still need to put shelves on them to go um, like in between here. Um, on each one of them, except for this one, I'll probably put my snow boots in that one. Um, and then snow boots can even go like right here. Um, this one will probably leave empty since the light switch is right there. But it makes it look nicer than what we had previously. So In the closet. Alright guys, so we're running into a problem. These are all mine. Well, that's not. And those aren't. But those, these, those are all mine and Fred decided instead of doing a shelf to kind of flip the shoes like so I don't personally like doing that to my shoes so I was going to get a shelf for mine and I'll be able to fit two more pairs there but as and I'll be able to put something here but as far as the rest of my shoes go I don't even know where to put these and my uh shoe thing upstairs in my closet is full as well so <laughs> ooh, that sun is bright okay so shoe shoe rack upstairs is full as well closets full <laughs> um don't really know what to do so we're gonna get this figured out we'll figure it out um yeah so fred thinks that we should get a couple more of the wooden crates and stack them up here in front of the little like tornado this little like tornado shelter type thing um but i mean if we don't attach them to the wall we could just throw them out of way out of the way in case of a tornado right i don't know the next day all right guys so this is what we ended up doing um i just can't find a shelf that fits here correctly and then those are the rest of my shoes as well as over here <laughs> so we're just gonna leave them like that for now it is what it is it still looks much better than what we had before I will try to find a picture and post it so you guys can see that but I think it looks pretty good um, I think it'll hold up well I think it's a cute idea you know um, Anyway, guys, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!